Hey everyone, it's Gary. Um, don't have a lot of time because my dad is coming because we're going to the dentist. And funny story, funny story. Okay, so I get this call. It goes ring, 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 ring. And my dad's like, hey, uh, get ready to go to the dentist at 4 o'clock. And I was like, with what money? And then he was like, you don't have money? I mean, I have money. But why the hell am I going to spend? Like, uh, I don't know how much a dentist appointment costs. I don't know how how much insurance I don't even know if I'm covered like on my own insurance for dental but um I was like I'm not about to spend a hundred like I said a hundred dollars I'm not about to spend a hundred dollars for something that I'll be just fine without because one um I kind of don't it's not that I hate the dentist it's just why bother like my teeth feel fine I know I don't have cavities see they're they're nice and white-ish my my tongue's cool, like nothing's wrong with my mouth right now, so but I haven't been to the dentist in like three years. So uh basically I'm going to the dentist today and my dad's coming to get me. But um yeah, and he's paying for it, so that's cool. Um this video is about how to get into medical uh how to become a doctor. Someone wrote me and I would give you a shout out, but I don't have the YouTube up right now. Um but you know who you are. They wrote me and they were just like hey, I want to be a doctor, but I just want to know what steps I need to go through to get it. And, I mean, when you break it down, it sounds easy, but when you're actually doing it, it's a very, very kind of hard process. But basically, it just depends on what kind of doctor you want to be. But no matter what, you need to go to a four-year college or university, get a bachelor's degree. 98% um, of medical students have bachelor's degrees and some kind of thing. Um, and I think the only people who don't have bachelor's degrees were people who used to be nurses and decided they want to become doctors. But, um, so you need a bachelor's degree, and you get that from a four-year college or university, and then you need to go to medical school, and that's four years. So it takes eight years to get through med- well, from after high school graduation, it's going to take eight years to get past- um, to get to where you have MD behind your name or DO or whatever kind of doctor you'd like to be. And then this is where the varying starts. It depends on if you want to do just like a primary care, like a, a regular physician, or if you want to be a surgeon. If you want to be a physician, you're going to go to a three-year residency or a one-year internship and a two-year residency. They're both exactly the same. just depends on where you're at, what they call it. Um... So you're gonna do a three. You're gonna do three years of work, basically, and you're getting paid at this time. You're not paying for school or anything, but you do still have to apply to these places, and um, they pay you about forty thousand dollars a year. I think is the national average. Um, and if you're doing surgery, you're gonna do a six-year program for most sur for most surgical specialties. Um, and then they actually call the first, they all actually call the first year an internship and then, um, five years of residency afterwards. But, so basically four years of uh, undergrad, undergraduate education, four years of medical school, three to six years, depending on if you want to be a doctor, like a regular physician or a surgeon. And then based on what you want to do, like, a uh, for me, for example, I want to be an oncologist. I need the same eight years before I go into residency as everyone else does. And then I do a three-year residency wherever I want, as long as it's in internal medicine. And then I do a one- to two-year fellowship in oncology. So it comes out to be 13, 13 years after I graduate from high school of education before I can actually call myself a licensed oncologist, and I, have to t and I have to pass exams on the way through, and the most important exam to pass is the board's exam. There's the U.S. Medical Licensing exam. Uh, there's the there's three of those. You do two of them in your medical education, and you're going to do one of them in your residency. The third one will happen in your residency, and I don't know why this just turned that color. Weird. Um, and I don't exactly know about the surgical side but I'm not too concerned with surgery. That's probably why. But I can always look it up, and I'll make another video if you're interested in surgery. So just let me know. Um, but basically, it, it all depends on what you're doing. But basically, 
you're always going to need four years of undergraduate, four years of medical school, um, and three to six years of residency. And then that's when the breakdown starts happening. Like, I know surgical fellowships are way longer than medical fellowships just because you have to be so precise. Like, if you make a mistake, someone could be blind or someone could die or someone could lose a sense of theirs like they could lose their sense of smell their sense of sight their sense of hearing stuff like that um you could paralyze someone stuff like that so it's a really it's a really precise field to go into so it's going to take a lot longer to be trained in that field um but just for like regular physicians who don't do anything um like specific like that like just nothing too invasive i guess um basically you're going to spend about 13 I would say up to 13 years of school. So I hope this helps someone. Um, sorry I'm in a rush again. I have a dentist appointment. It is 3.01. My dad's going to be here at 3.30, and I still have to go do laundry. So sorry about that. Um, I hope this helps someone. And if you have a better video, like if it's slower and stuff like that, just hit a video response or something. But um, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you kids later. Hello for a dollar for a pina colada. Little crazy today, but um, yeah. Oh, and this video is just so I can keep videos coming. I would have taken more time, but I don't think I'll actually have it because I'm getting packed for school and uh, trying to get some volunteer opportunities set up with uh, UTMB and the different medical schools around Houston and uh, stuff like that. So I hope everyone likes my green A&M shirt. You probably can't find it because I only found it at one place and it's on my website that you'll never know about, so bye. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it is pretty cool. Everyone at A&M likes it, and it's good on St. Patrick's Day. School spirit, Irish spirit, yeah. All right, so I did everything right, okay, right? And guess what time it is? It's 3.30, and guess who's late? My dad is. Okay, this guy is never late, so he calls me, and he's like, Hey, Gary, I left the office a little bit late. And I was just like, okay. And then he's like, hey, man. And, okay, everything with him is a 10-minute lecture. Like, no matter what. Actually, everything with him is, like, an hour lecture. Like, I probably wasted so much of my life just listening to this guy. So he's like, all right, man, just be ready. And I'm sitting here like this, like, I am, I'm clearly ready. Like, what am I going to bring? A pencil and a notepad, you know? Like, all I need to bring is myself to the dentist. And he's like, make sure you're ready because I don't want to be waiting. We need to go, Gary. We need to go. And I'm like, Dad, I'm ready. And then he's like, all right, just make sure you're ready. I don't, I don't even want to get out of the car. I just want you to come out and be ready. And I was like, okay, bye. Like, I mean, why does everything have to be a 20-minute conversation with you? You know what I mean? But um, basically, he's late, and I'm going to give him shit about it the whole ride to the dentist. So, that's what's going to happen. So, just wanted to keep you guys up to date. And also, I don't know. I forgot. But I mean, of all the arbitrary things to do in one day, why would I pick go, go into the dentist? Of all the, of all the arbitrary things, I mean, it's just like, you couldn't even... You couldn't even, like, you couldn't even, like, uh, I don't even know what's more pointless than going to the dentist. Like, especially when you're in my shape, like, uh, orally in my shape, uh, like, cause I mean, why? Like, why Why don't we just wait until something goes wrong before I go to the dentist? Like, then it'll be a purpose. Because I'm sure he's just going to go, oh, you need to floss a little bit more, brush two times a day. First of all, I don't floss. I probably only brush, like, one and a half times a day, probably three times every two days. Um, but, um, fuck. Okay. So, he should be here any second now, so I'm gonna... So I'm gonna leave before this lady on the other side of this 
computer pisses me off with all these chats. Alright, bye.